President Trump still blames Democrats for this new administration immigration strategy. He tweeted last night, the Democrats should get together with their Republican counterparts and work something out on the border, security and safety. Lawmakers in both parties oppose the current policy and are looking for ways to change it. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, good morning. Good morning. The administration has conflicting stories about its new policy of separating families who cross the border illegally. Last month, Chief of Staff John Kelly called the policy a tough deterrent. But late last night, the head of the Department of Homeland Security denied there is any such policy. You are not forgotten. Amid those protests over the administration's new policy to separate families that cross the border illegally, Homeland Security Chief Kirsten Nielsen is denying such a policy exists. On Sunday, she tweeted, we do not have a policy of separating families at the border, period. But last Friday, the Department of Homeland Security confirmed 1,995 children have been separated from their parents between April 19th and May 31st. The Democrats ought to just own it. Why don't they say we're for open borders? The White House is now trying to shift the blame to Democrats. The Democrats forced that law upon our nation. I hate it. I hate to see separation of parents and children. But Democrats and members of the president's own party say the policy is un-American. To say that this is anything other than just pure inhumanity at the highest forms of the American government is just wrong. It is inconsistent with our American values to separate these children from their parents unless there's evidence of abuse or another very good reason. In this morning's Washington Post, former First Lady Laura Bush wrote, our government should not be in the business of warehousing children in converted box stores. And current First Lady Melania Trump issued a separate statement saying she hates to see children separated from their families. We need to be a country that follows all laws, but also a country that governs with heart. But a legislative fix may be difficult, as some of the president's core supporters, immigration hardliners, don't want a compromise. Former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon. If they have not allocated money for the wall, it shut down the government. Tomorrow, President Trump will huddle with House Republicans in a rare meeting to clarify his support for a new GOP bill that would extend protections to so-called dreamers. Initially, the president said he wouldn't sign it. Then he subsequently clarified and said he would support it. Alex. Paula, thanks.